Hi friends, today I discuss Saxon formula. So the first thing is this, what is the use of Saxon formula? Now if you consider any two points, the first point is P which coordinates is x1, y1 and the second point is Q which coordinates is x2, y2. Now the one more point which divides PQ which divides PQ in M1 ratio M2 and the, the name of this point is R. So to find the coordinate of point R who divides this line PQ in the ratio of M1 ratio M2. So the find of coordinate R who divides this line PQ in ratio M1 ratio M2 we need to learn on about section formula. So now first I prove section formula by this taking this general example. So first I draw coordinate axis this is x axis and this is y axis now i draw a perpendicular from point p on x axis and also from point Q on x axis and also from point R on x axis. So these all are perpendicular and these points are A, B and C. Now also draw from point A, sorry from point P on RB and from point R on QC and these points are D and E. Now you find the coordinate of point R which is assumed to X comma Y. Now in triangle, now if you say in triangle in triangle PAQ and sorry for that this is not PAQ if I triangle R PD and R P D and Q R E and Q R E triangle R P D H similar to triangle Q R E. Now if these two triangles are similar then we can say R P upon Q R is equal to PD upon RE is equal to DR upon EQ by similar angle, similar angle, triangle property. Now put the value of RP, QR, PD, RE, DR and EQ. So, before finding these quantities, first discuss this is origin O. The distance OA is, if the coordinates of point P is x1, y1, then OA is x1, OB is x, 
and OC is x2. Now again, the vertical distance AP is y1. This BR is y, and this QC is y2. Now I find these quantities. First PD. First PD, which is equal to AB, which is equal to OB minus OA. OB minus OA, which is equal to OB is x minus OA is x1. So the value of PD is x minus x1. Again, I find RE. RE is equal to BC. And for finding BC, OC minus OB. OC minus OB, which is equal to x2 minus this x2 minus x. x2 minus x. Now I find dr. Now I find dr. And dr is, this is dr. And dr is, now dr is, or RD is RB minus DB which is equal to RB is Y minus Y1. Again I find EQ. EQ. This is EQ. So EQ is QC minus EC. QC minus EC. Now QC minus EC is Y2 minus Y. Y2 minus Y. So this is the distance between so the this so the these all quantities find. Now I apply relation. Now put all values or substitute all values in this equation first. So RP upon QR, RP upon QR, so RP upon QR is M1 upon M2, PD upon RE, PD X minus X1 upon RE, X2 minus X and equal to DR upon EQ, DR is Y minus Y1 upon EQ is Y2 minus Y. And solving this, first I take these two. And in second I take these two. When I take these two, then X equal to M1 X2 plus M2 X1 upon m1 plus m2 this is the section formula to find the coordinate x and if i take these two then y equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2 so these are the section formula now on conclusion now on conclusion the coordinate of point P the coordinates of point P which divides the line segment which divides the line segment which divides the line segment joining the joining the points a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2 
sorry i take these points in figure p and q so again i take same points p and q in the ratio internally in the ratio internally in the ratio m1 ratio m2 h m1 x2 plus m2 x1 upon m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2 so this is called section formula this is called section formula if the value of m1 ratio m2 h if the value of m1 ratio m2 h k ratio 1 an example 4 ratio 1 3 ratio 1 2 ratio 1 then this formula change to k x2 plus x1 upon k plus 1 sorry and k y2 plus y1 upon k plus 1 and again uh, in a special case if the value of m1 ratio m2 is 1 ratio 1 1 ratio 1 if m1 is equal to 1 and m2 is equal to 1 then r is the midpoint of these so if you find midpoint then just put the value of m1 and f2 is 1 ratio 1 then the formula is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. So this formula apply for or to find midpoint. To find midpoint. So, so in general midpoint formula is just a special case of section formula. Now I discuss some example on next page. Now I take example, find the ratio in which the y axis divides the line segment joining the points 5 comma minus 6 and minus 1 comma minus 4 also find the point of intersection. Let's assume the ratio h m1 ratio m2 h equal to k ratio 1 k ratio 1 so if I apply if i apply section formula then x comma y equal to minus k plus 5 by k plus 1 minus k plus 5 by k plus 1 comma minus 4k minus 6 upon k plus 1 so this point is on y axis on y axis so for the y axis abscissa is abscissa is 0 so just apple just equate abscissa equal to 0 then I find the value of k is 5 if the value of k is 5 then the ratio is 5 ratio 1 and putting the value of k in point of intersection then the point of intersection is 0 comma minus 13 by 3 so this is the required so I hope you understand section formula and how to solve example on section formula. So please download the scholar learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning. Thanks to watching this video.